Hey guys, what's up, Rasen here, and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be covering a very nice little website. So it's basically a blog post team post website, which actually has a simple blog post, and uh, it, 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 it's, it's a pretty cool little project to build with Bootstrap, and also it's focused mostly on beginners. So uh, it's just a simple, so as you guys can see, this is the, uh, this is the blog post page. It's a simple blog post where it has a title called Secrets of Successful Photography by Laura and Tim and it's posted on 1st of January so this just came with the template itself okay and we have a search bar and also categories and also an about section about who they are in a different color and the color we're using is sort of a dark gray so it's if you know bootstrap classes bg dark so all right so uh, we'll actually go through it if you're a beginner no problem it's something that you can actually you know uh, start with bootstrap in order to actually you know get get the first sight at bootstrap and uh, the usefulness of bootstrap is like superb so guys that's it and we have a about services contact which has an hashtag so nothing is there and we also have a very nice little um, image which matches our color scheme all right for that as well and we have some text here you uh, i didn't really want to go over um, a lot of maybe some i didn't want to generate a uh, generate text just a sample text i just actually got this from a blog website i'll, I'll get into that soon and all of this is actually from a uh, blog website and this is like Google and I got something, all right? So it's, it's not a big deal, but I'm trying to say. Uh, it makes a lot of sense rather than having just a lot of Ipsum. And also we have a comment box where people can leave their comment and submit. And also it's a text area, so it's expandable. And we also have some people's comments. So we have Brad, Gary, John Willer, and sort of, you can, you can, you can actually expand this as much as you want. You can add, uh, I just wanted to go with four, which is just a default templates uh, comments. And also the comments itself are really uh, not really generated. These are actually got it from a website that I told, okay? So we have a footer saying, uh, a sticky footer saying copyright uh, block terms 2020. So also this is pretty cool little project and also as you know bootstrap it's also completely responsive so this is a size of a size of a tablet so at that point your navbar is going to be like that with a smooth little animation with jquery bootstrap and also pretty much it uh, looks the same and also the sidebars is going to go down we have this is also the same everything is centered we have the comments and then all the sidebars right here so this is actually not cannot be a tablet uh something like that is where a tablet breaks up ah somewhere here okay not actually here somewhere here all right so then we have your search and the categories and the about us okay so pretty much the same and it also look also looks cool it's like an ipad pro or something galaxy tablets or something like that and then we have a phone a mobile version and then that's also the same thing and also this is very completely responsive and this is uh, a comment and the comments we have and the search categories and also the about us and the footer so as part of responsiveness is 100 percent responsiveness that here and there there could be some defects because it's a default template and whatever you add could be your own presumption uh presumed uh, values so at that point you can actually use your css to do some uh, add points okay not always so at time you can do it with your css so that's what i want to say all right guys so the thing i told about uh, the website itself where i got all of this uh um uh, the the template itself is bootstrap obviously but it's actually something called startbootstrap.com so what this website is guys they are using bootstrap the the basic bootstrap theme to create more new themes and new templates and just a whole lot of good options and designs and this is very better than bootstrap itself uh bootstrap is what they use but they actually take this to a next level so they have themes templates snippets and also guides uh in this video we're going to take a look at templates uh, but they also have some other options so guys if you go to templates you actually have all of this stuff you have a simple uh, sidebar you have an admin page so i would say they have options not just one if you take a home page they actually have uh, options like this one and this one and bootstrap just gives you one and they really have it in a different style as well which uh, which is which is really good all right and this is what we're going to be working which is the blog post itself and also blog post home and shop item and and there's some various stuff uh, that you actually need you can actually work with this okay and if you've seen bootstrap itself it, they're not going to give you all of that it could be like one option per each uh, per, per, per per idea or something like a blog post means it's just one but you get like a two one all right it's a pretty cool little project to build and you can take this project to a next level we are just going to use a blog post you can actually have a blog home connected to a blog post and maybe other backend and do some stuff we'll probably do it in the future if we see 
uh, if I have time and you know if I see to do it all right so this is how you do it and the cooler thing about this you can give a live preview to it and actually give you the mobile version and also mobile version and also so this is the basic template we get that's how we're going to basically transform to something like that all right and also as i said the cool feature about this is you don't need to add, like in bootstrap you don't need to go view page source and copy everything and create your own files in vs code or your text editor and put it and link your files no that's not the case right here it's very simple for you you can come back i guess all right let's cancel that and there we go you can just uh, click on free download there or they'll give you an option here so you can just click click free download and this will automatically download everything for you so i have it downloaded right here so i'm not going to download it and the cool thing is you you don't need to really have any cdn or something every bootstrap file starting from min.js and jquery files the javascript files everything is stored locally so you have all the files locally so in that case even you have any internet issues you're not going to run out of the design style itself you have everything stored internally internally so uh, that's a cool feature i think and also everything is connected so you don't need to go over anything you just simply get the template and start building your own style all right and definitely i would say to check it out and also last thing i want to mention on this it's the the secrets uh i'm sorry uh the way i got the information itself and this is from lauren tim and i think he's one who wrote it but this is a very old website it's probably dead by right now i guess uh so i just got this they have some they had some uh uh, good uh, good stuff about photography so i just wanted to grab some information so i got some of this and also i also got some of uh, this i guess and then some of the comments which is gonna come okay so obviously i didn't have their name though i just had uh the, the comment itself yeah that's just it and so yeah that's just it for that and i just linked them so that's what for the tutorial guys uh th i mean what i mean is like that's what you just for the introduction of a web page and hopefully uh, you some of you guys will enjoy the video and create something very cool okay let's get started all right guys i have uh the index uh, i have the folders open up so i just wanted to go over the file structure itself i just wanted to go over how the styles are presented so once you extract your file and open it with your preferable text editor, this is how your preferable, uh, sorry, this is how your uh, files are going to look like, all right? So your files come with read, read document, read .md, json file, license, the index.html, and some other files, gitigno, and then you'll come with a vendor which has the bootstrap, uh, CSS, JS, and stuff, and you have with the CSS, and you also come with the CSS. And you won't get the image folder, so this is that I um, I, I I really wanted to have these images, so I I have put the, I had to put this folder and the images here. Alright guys, so as far as this file structure, you might be confused if you're a beginner, you have so much files to work. No guys, that's not the case. You actually can get rid of uh, this one. You actually can get rid of the uh, readme document. Sorry. Uh, the uh, readme package.json, the license, the except the index.html, the license package.json, the readme document, the geo gulp file.js, the travis.yml, gitigno, you can actually get rid of all of that. And then you actually need the vendor which has the bootstrap and all. So uh, any other, fo you, can, you don't need to delete any folders. You have to delete all the files if you want to, if you feel uncomfortable, except the index search mode, delete everything. So no fine. So I, I don't mind working with a lot of files and I just gonna have it, all right? So guys, uh, this is how our basic template will look like when you just open it. Uh, so it's neatly coded out and uh, straight in the straight in the point we are able to get started okay and one thing i want to point out guys if you just click on this package.json you just have these files you might sort of get an error uh, it's not showing up right now uh you might sort of get an error which actually shows uh, like one or two so if you sort of get an error just control a delete that up and that should be fine i'm just giving you a, a, a precaution so you might think there's an error that's not the case all right Alright, yeah, so we are good to get started. I think I had a very big introduction, but yeah, it's definitely worth it. Okay, guys, and now we're gonna basically work. So let us take a look at how it's presented. So we have a nav, we have a simple nav which says block times, which is a fictional name, uh, and then we have a home about services contact. So then we have a heading and we have by Lauren Teams. We wanna link uh we're gonna basically link this one, this this link. Um, it's actually Lorem Lim, uh, Lim. It, it's a spelling mistake and we have this search bar and the image and all all right all right guys so let's get started so in the title I'm just gonna first of all change the title itself and the title I'm gonna call it uh, secrets of successful photography all right which is gonna copy that 
and paste it up right there okay and let's take a look at um, let's take a look at what we have right now all right so we have a basic template which actually which is actually working so uh pretty easy and we are good to work with it all right and now we have to come to index.html let's get rid of that and we have to say title secrets of photography so that's not, sorry not the title actually the title is actually I guess so oh why is it opening up here so get rid of that and brave all right guys so the title should be blog post okay so i'm just gonna leave it as it is okay and now uh, as you guys can see the bullshit file everything is connected you don't need to mess around with that so if you want to have custom stylings you can go to css blog post css and type any custom styling you need and also get rid of the 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 comments if you don't need it all right all right guys so uh now the first thing i'm going to change is that i'm going to just change this one which is uh which is going to say navigation is going to give you start bootstrap so i'm going to say block times which is a which is a fictional fictional which is a actually fiction fictional business or a website whatever you want to call okay so now it should be block times okay i'm just going to leave home about services contact as it's because anyway i would include that all right and i'm going to include the post title all right so i'm going to copy this and paste it right um, where is it okay we have to skip this your nav is actually done and right here i guess i right here okay so which says post content co column and it gives you a comment called title and at, at that point you want to post uh, you want to paste this up and save it and if you take a look okay the secrets of successful photography now you can actually give everything caps but i just wanted to leave it like that because it because it's just fine and it's looking fine okay i just wanted to point out the secrets uh, mainly mainly so i wanted to go with a, a capitalized letter all right and you can say buy and you also have a a tag which is the link so you're gonna say buy lauren lim okay i'm gonna say lauren lim and i could straight away link all right so let me just copy this and link it right here okay so that should work and if you take a look and if i come back and just click lauren tim it's gonna take you to the website but actually i want this to open up in a new tab so for that what do you have to do you have to come right here in the a tag itself and you want to say target e underscore equals to blank okay that's what you want to say but now if you click that which is our right one here if you click it, it's gonna go to the new page okay that's what we need okay all right guys so now let's get started with the building our image and all all right so if you want you can change the date and the time so i'm just gonna leave it as that and the preview image guys i wanted to say you something it's actually saying it's a 900 by 300 image so if you didn't find an image i actually have it in my image folder which is a 900 by 300 image this is the original file i just cropped it in photoshop so it's a 900 by 300 image if you want to use it use it but i'm gonna use my own this image which is basically gonna basically the same style and it's fitting a team itself so i just prefer just to be used okay so it's just a preference just fits the team so i'm gonna use it all right so you 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 have the option to use anything you want uh so just uh just you use something that fits your mind i'm gonna say img and inside the img folder we have a image called brook l brooks slash lock or something so now if you take a look yeah it's nice and it's ready all right so that's just it for that and now guys i wanna i wanna what could i do and i just want to change the, these text for now all right so uh yeah let me just change the text of this all right so the text is now it has a class of a lead so these are the post content which is this one these are the post content and then we have something else and the page person who did that and there we go so we have some stuff so first of all i'm, I'll, I'm not gonna type waste my time typing so i'll just just copy it from here copy that and inside this p tag i'm just gonna paste it up all right and now if you take a look uh there we go so that's it uh, dan lorem ipsum uh, having a having a correct text or something really makes a lot of sense and gives you a good look to look to the overall website itself and the second one i'm going to copy this second text uh okay and i'm going to just paste it here and save it and this is the third one so in a post content i'm going to copy that and paste it right there and now if you take a look uh, 
that's it yeah if you take a look it looks good uh the one thing i wanted to change guys uh um can we just go back here the one thing i wanted to change i want the both of this text both of these no i think this one the the second text to be in the font of this one okay the the like a bigger font and also light so that's what i want for the second one the second p tag so for that i get, i have to give a class of called lead all right if you give that class it's gonna look like that so even for the th third one you can have it like that but yeah that's your preference too all right guys so now we wanna we wanna what could we do uh let's take a look and now uh, we won't yeah we actually done until that and now we want to be able to grab this one okay this is like a quote or something uh got it from google in an image so i'll leave the link for that as uh, i'll leave the link for it as well okay and now let me get rid of that and paste this up okay and then that should look good yep mm, yep that's it and it's saying some someone famous and it's gonna say someone famous so i'm gonna get rid of that and say bye and i'm gonna say andrew something i guess this, oh yeah Andy Waho okay so I'm gonna say and Andy Waho all right so that should work and now a basic these text as well so let's copy this which is the basic text and uh, don't worry guys the, the template itself is down in the description you can download it and get the text from there you don't need to type all of it if you want to follow along with me so you don't need to type everything uh, the template itself is there all right and I also want to copy this as well so I don't know whether this makes sense or something it's just uh, randomly selected some text and just copied so I don't know I didn't really read this along so you can you can you can make something more different all right and it should work and if you want to have that uh, ha type, uh, you want to have it, the text to be like uh, the lead class, uh, the text with the class of lead, you also can put the lead here. But I thought it's, it's, it's sort of an overkill to have uh, more text here as well. Just wanted to separate them. So I just have the same, uh, so the default styling itself. But yeah, just feel free to uh, mess up with the changes and get things done. Okay, get, thing, uh, get, get, get the new design and whatever. Okay. And now, now we have a comments form, all right? So in that comments form, we, we are not gonna change anything except the top top bar. Okay, I wanna uh, have that to a dark color. And for that, you shouldn't type BG dark here in the whole div itself. I'll show you what happens if you do it. If you took background dark here, the whole thing is gonna select it and the input obviously it's gonna be white and it, 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 it's just gonna make a mess, okay? So we don't want that. So what we want, we just want the top bar to be we actually want the top bar to be only BG dark and also so yeah that's what we want and also the text we want to white so I want to say text white okay and now it looks pretty cool you can actually change uh, gives you some padding or border or anything but this is just fine for me and I'm good to go and also you can change the color of the submit button itself uh, to the to the dark color to actually um, fit with the color scheme but anyway submit is sort of a sort of a sort of like a I would say like a positive sign like you're gonna something this uh, submit sort of a uh, comment or something so um, blue color was okay for me so that's still that's your preference here also okay all right guys so I think we're done with that I mean the main main post itself and now we want to come for the commenting area all right so this is single comment so what single comment means this is the single comment and then we have the nested comments for the nested comments is gonna start from here and this comments would have more other comments from here. So this is the nested comment and this is what you call a single comment. But still, uh, you can have all of this a single comment. So you can come right here, delete the nested comments, copy this and paste this how many times ever you want and just get everything a single comment. Okay, for now, I'm just going to work with the default template itself. All right, guys. So if you see right there, we have a 50 by 50 image. So that's one thing you want to consider. If you have another, you can't just have put another image. So what I did, I downloaded the images from Photoshop, sorry, uh, unsplash.com and I cropped it by to 50 by 50 images. So I cropped it right there. I have like four images. So everything is linked in the description, the whole file itself. If you don't want to go to start bootstrap and download the whole file, the whole default file is actually down in the description. So you can just get it done. Okay. All right, so uh, as far as, and we're gonna just get rid of this for now, okay? And this is what we're gonna put. We're gonna have a new image for it. So I'm gonna say IMG slash, I have this one to be person one. And if you save it up and see, there we go, we have person one. And uh, so this is the commenter name. So the name, I'm gonna change it to Brad, uh, I think Brad, what did I put? Brad, 
Brad Gary, okay. Brad Gary, and did I have caps? Okay. Okay. And now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just copy the whole comment what he has commented. And let me just paste it right there, okay. And now we're gonna do it for the nested comments as well, and that's also gonna work, okay. Now I wanna say for the nested comments, I'm gonna say img slash person person two, okay. And you can get rid of the uh, alt and all, and also the comments if you want. And the second guy is gonna be is John Wheeler. Let's copy that. Okay, paste it up, and also copy the comment. Mm, right here, okay. And paste it up. It should look fine. And now we're gonna copy. We're gonna get the other one as well, which is the nested right here. So these both are actually the nested ones. I wanna place the placeholder. So I get rid of that. And say img slash person three. And I wanna say this is a case. It's a Claude Berry. So let's type it out Claude Berry. Okay. So things should be caps, okay. And then I'm gonna copy the text itself and paste it right there. All right. And now we have the the other one, which is Night to Ram. So I'm gonna paste its text right there. So these are random random names, like uh, fictional names that I got. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna copy this as well. I'm gonna paste it right there. Okay, so now that's done. Oh, we also need the image IMG slash person four. And now, if we actually take a look, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. All right, so it's just the same. And now we're actually done with that. And I wanna, we actually wanna move uh, this one, which is the search in the bar. We wanna basically change this button to blue. Blue, actually, all right. And also, we wanna change this stuff to something else like photography film editing free buys and something like that right and also the about section okay so let's go for that and now we get the site widgets column which is a sidebars and the search widget is there and i want to only want to i want only to change the button to blue so we have a button right there inside this so you want to come to the class and you just want to say btn primary okay so that's what you want to say so once you take a look wait all right, there should be BTN primary. Oh, sorry, they have a class itself there. Okay, so just say BTN primary. So they had a class secondary itself. So if you get a primary, it's gonna be a blue color. All right, guys. Yeah. So if you, if you wanna mess with the buttons, then you can go for the documentation of Bootstrap itself. Uh, they actually have all the documentation. I'll leave the link for that as well. Uh, as well. So you, or else you can just go to getbootstrap.com and they have the documentation front. So it's easy for you. And the categories guys are also gonna change this. So what did I put over there? Oh, it's gonna be photography, film editing, free buy. So I'm gonna change this to photography. Okay, I'm gonna change this to photography. And it's gonna be film editing. And yeah, it's gonna be free buy, so it's just left it like that. And then it's gonna be Adobe Suite, or uh, Suite. Or uh, Adobe Suite, Suite. And uh, basically, I did this because you know, like most of the film photographers, I hope they use the Adobe Suite. Uh, so sweet, so I can't pronounce that. Okay. So yeah, obviously, motion designing. Uh, um, that's a part of film editing. Motion designing. Okay, designing. And and also logo. Okay. So maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I I just had an idea to put this. That's what. So don't get me wrong. So we take a look. Uh, oh, what's that? Okay, right there. Okay, now if I get rid of that, and there should be a tag. Why is that not an a tag? It's because it's it's, it's because it's. All right, let's put a a tag. Okay, now if you take a look, it's good. And now also we want to change the about me section. So if you just take a look, this is completely changed. Uh, we're gonna just have a white white text, a dark background, and also white text here. So let's copy. It's gonna be about us, all right? So we want to come down, which is has been commented side widget, and I want to change the side widget to about us, all right? And that's it. Okay, that's about us. And now I want to copy the whatever text is there. 
and copy that and i want to paste it right now. i want to replace this with this all right guys now if you just take a look it's just going to be randomly like that which also fits the color scheme but i want to have something that that actually fits with the nav by itself okay so that's what I, I actually personally want to have now you can just leave it like that and you can actually mess with the color scheme and all all right so now for this what i'm going to do um i'm going to put some two classes for this so I'm gonna go for the main header, which is this one, not even this one. The header, if you put something here, here, it's just gonna change your, change the uh, upper upper heading to nav, uh, the section, the upper one, the upper section sort of thing. So you don't, you won't be able to change the down part. So for for you to change everything, you wanna have your class in the whole, the big div, the main div itself. So which says card card margin y of four and now we're gonna add some class. I'm gonna say dark, I'm gonna say bg dark to it to have a dark color and also we want a text to be white. So I'm gonna say just text white. Now if we take a look, there we go. This is our this this is our about our section and it looks completely fine. Now you can actually have different colors. Uh, BT success is actually a green so you can have something like that and also BT success for this I tried this out the green was fucking okay but it's a blog post right we I'm not gonna um, really really make it light and make whatever whatever uh, you know like not this is not that much needed to pop up more so I just want to have this in a dark scheme so it's still your preference guys. oops it's still your preference guys so you're you're free to work with this uh and now obviously at last we don't need a super big uh, uh footer even that itself i guess it's sort of big but it's fine for me and this is like super big so basically we're going to adjust the padding okay and the padding is actually five i want to change it to four and it's going to be something like that uh, just the same okay and we also want to do i want to change the copyright and your website 2019 i want to get rid of that and i say uh in simple block times 2020 okay that's block times all right so yeah we we have actually cloned it and uh, okay just some some spelling mistakes i guess so it's built gray gray okay, whatever let me just change it to um oops why is he uh okay okay Okay, so that should do. Okay, guys, we actually completed that just the same. It looks pretty good with this basic color scheme. So one thing I want to point out and say this is not the best of the world tutorial. It's just a very, very basic tutorial for the people who are actually getting started the bootstrap. I just wanted to say that's just bootstrap. The main bootstrap page is not only the only source. You can try out different things, the different templates, different themes and stuff. And also, this is just the basic people, how much you can actually take the bootstrap design and customize it customize it to yourself so when we took it took this design in the first place it actually looked very very bad I would, <laughs> frankly i want to say but once you actually basically add some different classes different text and different typography and we can actually bring it to a whole lot of working sort of website and if you want to use this to sort of a build your blog post or something you really you can consider bootstrap designs and bootstrap just going over bootstrap itself is pretty good pr pretty pretty uh useful uh useful uh framework or css framework that you want to know okay guys that's been it for the video so hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and also these files and everything is linked in the description as i said you don't need all your files and you can free uh, you're free to uh, get rid of that as well Okay guys, so that's been it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are not checked out my YouTube channel, I'm post posting daily uploads. I have a lot of tutorials. I also have a JavaScript project playlist where you get to build a dope project which will basically take you from an intermediate, from a sorry beginner to an intermediate. So it's very, very clean code and you're going to learn a lot of stuff in that tutorials. And I'll leave the link in the description again as I told. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will talk to you in the next video.